The shocking truth of the Italian mystic Natuzza Evolo telling what the afterlife will be and what awaits us. We report here the truths of the Italian mystic Natuzza Evolo, the woman from Calabria, who said she could see the souls of the departed, received messages from them, and who received over the course of many, many years. In her humble home, thousands and thousands of people who wanted to hear from their departed loved ones. Natuzza was able to tell just by seeing a picture of the departed whether they were happy in heaven or not, and thus whether they needed suffrage masses. To move from purgatory to the green meadow and then to heaven. For her, the green meadow was the antechamber to heaven. Just from her words, we understand something relative to the place of hell, purgatory and heaven. Words and phrases to reflect on. Natuzza, in fact, invites us to have a deep sense of seeing signs there are so many purgative souls and for many of them there's no hope if no one prays for their salvation. God's mercy saves many of them, but those in purgatory who don't understand the meaning of sin and don't ask the Lord for forgiveness will not see their punishments reduced. Reduced, shorter and milder. This is the importance of creating numerous prayer circles. Here from her words. Hell is a terrible place from which there is no escape. The soul that goes to hell after eternal life because of too many sins committed for which it has not repented before its death cannot be saved and cannot pass through purgatory or evil. Its soul remains in the flames and pains of hell and only God, Jesus or Our Lady can decide for it to ascend in rank. If some think, however, that purgatory is a place of peace, they are mistaken. Souls expiate their pains in the same places on earth where they lived. Even in purgatory, one often lives in flames and the punishments are always commensurate with the sins done on earth. Blessed are those who have suffered so much during their lives as they will have reduced their eventual time in purgatory. Unlike hell, the souls who are in purgatory, despite being immersed in the flames of pain, can be suffered by us men on earth through the use of prayer, but not by the souls of the departed, not even by those in heaven. No, that during the celebration of the many masses on earth, many souls flock to these places of divine worship so that their pains may be shortened and so may their time in purgatory. The punishments in purgatory, unlike those in hell, are well accepted since the souls know that sooner or later they will be able to see the green meadow, that is, the antechamber to heaven. Regarding these souls, know that many of them are always on the brink and don't know whether they will actually enter the green meadow sooner or later or not. Often, these souls are on the edge of a precipice from where on one side there is darkness, 
on the other side there is the sea and on the other side there's fire. The souls in paradise are quite distinguishable from all others because they are lifted up from the earth and they can see the divine light, feel blissful for eternity and have a concession from the Lord to visit their relatives from time to time.